parking spots and not enough people out there to crack down on parking violators. And this time we are talking about disability parking spots. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski is live downtown tonight where, Jen, you found a parking lot that highlights this exact problem. And we're at a public parking lot of 21st and Glen Arm. And just take a look. This is what's left of what used to be the wheelchair symbol. The company has since turned it into a regular parking spot by painting this number on it. Just one of dozens we found all over downtown. Something the auditor says needs to be fixed. When it comes to disabled parking in downtown Denver, the city auditor says the system is in desperate need of repair. There are many times when I consider going to a place and just think about the parking and just decide not to go at all. Auditor Tim O'Brien found 65% of the parking lots they reviewed didn't have sufficient disabled parking. His office also found a lack of enforcement when it comes to people illegally parking in these spots, since most tickets are written by volunteers. It happens all the time, and people have gotten bolder, in my opinion. Chris Hines was paralyzed and bound to this wheelchair after getting in a car crash. He's since become a disability advocate and took us to this parking lot off 19th and Logan where we could see the problem firsthand. It looks like here used to be a disabled parking space. There appears to be some leftover blue paint in a spot where the disabled parking sign used to be. Just seems to me that there's a systemic failure here. The auditor also found some businesses are getting away with painting over these spots because no one checks up on them. I think it's dishonest. I think it should be enforced um, enough so that people are deterred. A reality people like Heinz are having to live with, but now hopes might finally change. I see this as an opportunity for Denver to uh, to get back into compliance. Now we reached out to that company, the parking lot on 19th and Logan, and a spokesperson tells us that they recently got that lot back and plan to repaint the lines and install new disabled parking lots soon. Reporting live in Denver, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7. Jen, thank